Home sweet home, eh? Yeah. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Home. Look yeah. at that. Welcome on board. Oh, my word. Is it lovely? Yeah. It's immaculate, isn't it? Karen and David are novices when it comes to the hotel business, but their attention to detail in keeping the barge simple and stylish means they've successfully created a luxury retreat. Important, as they'll be charging around £250 for a night's stay. This is... Uh... Fiesta resistance. Oh, hang on a minute. I didn't know it did that. That's a cheeky little number. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic, isn't it? And not only does the roof open, the side windows slide backwards. Yeah. And then the front windows drop down windows. into the front bulkhead. Right down so, th so this is a really, really fresh air, open air uh, space when we're cruising. That the, is fantastic. I think they've really considered that the boat needs to work as a hotel and not just as a home. The thought they've put into the design shows that you shouldn't feel limited by even the smallest of spaces. The modern galley kitchen not only has a washer and dryer, it conceals the most important storage of all. And that? We have our little... Uh, What's that? It's a wine cellar. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is brilliant. It's cool down there, because yeah. below the water line, against the floor, it's, it's a cool, cool area. I think you should have made it the whole size of the floor. <laughs> the whole, That's what you should have done. Board. The whole boat. <laughs> <laughs> Each of their three guest cabins is located off the narrow corridor that runs the length of the barge. Well, that's very smart, isn't it? Look at that bed. It looks super cosy. Yeah. King very size impressed. bed. Yeah. That's a king size? King size, king size, yeah. And something as small as this, you'd expect to be roughing it a little bit. No, but not here. No, no, no. The whole point was no, we didn't, no, no. that's what we didn't want. And what, what about kind of bathrooms and loos and stuff oh, like no. that? Where's all that? Every room is on suite, yeah, George. so... That's really, really clever. So the entire room is a wet room. That is a very clever use of space. Yeah. You haven't compromised anywhere, have you? No. Which is a good thing when they've given up their jobs and home to spend the foreseeable future living in a 9-foot by 12-foot cabin. So this is your space? This is our space. This is uh, home from home. And how does this differ from home before? I mean, have you had to kind of readapt how you live and the amount of stuff you've got? Slightly. Slightly. Yeah. We, we, we've downsized from a four-bedroom detached to... Uh, to this. Ten foot square cabin. <laughs> <laughs> was it quite difficult to part with all of your personal stuff? Generally, no. But it was liberating because you do suddenly realise that you just don't need all you, so all many you didn't things. like is a good scanner. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, That's it. No. Scan everything. In building this boat, David and Karen have put everything on the line. They've given up their home, given up their jobs, and committed every penny that they've got to make this work. It's just incredible. They've created a space to live, work, rest and play for many years to come. Yeah.